Hello and welcome back to GTA 5 Manhunt. This time we've got Tristan as the prey and he's going to be, um, well, seeing how long he can flee for. We're down to two hunters this time unfortunately and we've only got Matt and Mike and myself as the um, as the shouty shouty person. So we've decided to allow shooting from in cars but... First things old... first, put distance. Yes. Between me and that. As he says, let's go. Um, but with the old old rule of um, only using single shot bullet weapons from inside the cars, but any bullet weapons from outside the cars. So this this gives us a bit more balance between the, the number of hunters we've got and um, and to give them a chance of actually catching him. And that should be enough. It's certainly a chunk of distance. Ooh, brakes aren't great on this car. I should probably apologise for the video quality here a little bit. We've um, it turns out Tristan's recording was set to a rather low bit rate, which is why it's a bit. Um, a bit over compressed, should we say, but hopefully there'll be enough action and excitement that uh, you won't really notice. <laughs> if necessary, don't watch it full screen. So, fleeing through downtown at the moment. It's as um, good a place as any to go. I believe the um, the the hunters started off from the pier, as is, as is traditional, but I think they had some sort of weirdness with cars, like they couldn't find enough good ones, so they're sharing, they were sharing a car at the very beginning. So that gave them a, gave them a bit of a head start. Playing on the railway lines is always a good way to um, to wind the controller up a bit, should we say, because it gives him a bit of a headache trying to work out where the where he should send the the rest of the hunters in order to try and keep up with the prey. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's there's sort of I suppose there's there's a number of different types of of terrain you can be driving on. There's the obvious, obvious surface roads where you're just driving around inside the city. Then there's the highways that are sort of distinct from those because there aren't all that many places. To ah, it's all gone badly. <laughs> yeah, badly indeed. Uh, then you've got the storm drain, which is obviously a nice place to go really fast, cover a load of distance, but it's tricky to get in and out of, and it's obvious where you are when you're in it. And then finally there's the railway lines, which again, um, there's only a certain number of places where they link to the um, to the main roads, so you, you don't... You, you, so they're, they're, almost, they're slightly separate, and if you get onto them, then it's a pain to get the hunters back and forth between the different areas of them. But then... It also traps the prey a little bit as well. That's way out. Because ways out are um, slightly rare. However, he's getting back out again. Back onto the surface roads. Uh, no, back onto the railway lines. Take it all back. Um, and this this is a good way. I mean, it's, it's something I probably don't do enough of, if I'm being honest. Um, the, the switching back and forth between the various different surfaces. And there we go, onto the freeway. So that's, that's uh, three different types of, uh, types of terrain. Now to work out where I am. Very, very quickly. But yeah, you can easily lose your place if you do that. And I think at this point, uh, Tristan hadn't played quite as much of this as the uh, as the rest of us. Outside the city. Yeah, he, he's not too bad. He had a fair bit of city left. He could have carried on that way a bit further and been okay. But, you know, there's no harm in sort of randomly changing direction. Um, yeah, so he was a relative, relative newcomer to the, to the game at this point. So he's not got quite the same level of city knowledge that uh, the rest of, some of the rest of us did. But then... You don't need that much. The, about the only time you do need to have some um, knowledge of where how to get from A to B is if the controller shouts, "Oh, he's in Vinewood! Everyone go to Vinewood!" And you need, then you need to. That was quite quick. Then you need to have an idea of where you are. It's been a pretty good run for him so far. It's um, been very, very quiet. We've not had any um, any altercations with the with the hunters. I've not I've not seen any sign of them anyway. I'd, I don't know how close they've got. Well, may um, maybe I'm just not a very good controller. I guess we'll find out when we see the hunter view uh, in a few minutes. <laughs> well, back onto the um, onto the highway again. He does like going against traffic. I've noticed. Um, I don't know whether this is deliberate in order to try and make it. Good old wrong wrong way on the highway. Yes. Whether it makes it deliberate to make it easier. Hopefully confuse them a little. I didn't catch what he said then. But it, it, it could potentially make it harder, Let's keep with it for a bit. harder for the hunters to follow, because there's they have to worry about all the oncoming traffic as well. As long as that doesn't happen. Yeah, but then you make a mistake like that, and it loses you a load of time. And it's not technically a race, but you still need to stay ahead of everybody else. Okay, off the highway again, and back on. Oh, I see you going around this way. Yeah. One of the th things that I always find quite interesting about being the prey in this is that there are a number of different things you can do to try and evade. That was smooth. Yeah, that was a good jump. 
a number of different things you can do to try and evade the hunters but which one is best depends a lot on how close they are to you like if they're if they're really really close behind you you need to sort of slam on the brakes and take sharp turns but if they're a bit further back than that then that just lets them catch up because you suddenly slowed down unexpectedly uh, let's have an upgrade is that an upgrade that's a 9f that's not an upgrade to anything uh, these are the really slippery cars that just have a mind of their own whenever you try and corner in them. Uh, I don't like them very much. Um, yeah, so if, they, if they're really close behind you, then you need to ha slam on the anchors, take, take a sharp turn. To, in the, oh, there's another, um, uh, there's a hunter in another 9F. I think they found me. <laughs> I think they have indeed. <laughs> so, so now, yeah, you're doing lots of turns, sort of, and trying to. That's the problem with the 9F, it does that. Um, Oh, he's shooting as well. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely 9F handling I'm seeing there. They, I mean, they're, if you can, if you learn to drive them, then I believe they're really quite quick. But they're they're difficult to to use on a corner. Ooh. Oh, nearly. If you come down, on... <laughs> there's a bit of help from the AI there. That's fantastic. Come on, tip over. <laughs> Uh, some broken, broken physics. And a couple more bullets as well. I think that was evasive driving, not 9F um, uh, sketchiness. And it seems to have worked, because he's not got any... Um, he, he's, still, he's still got all his tyres, so well done there. Now, I think what he's doing at the moment is trying firing in randomly into oncoming traffic in an attempt to make the, um, the other cars panic. Uh, and this is going to, and if they if they do panic, then they can make it a lot. They'll be all over the place as the hunters come through, and they're going to make it a lot harder for the for the hunters to get through. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work. It does rely rely on you being heading into oncoming traffic like this, which is um, tricky, <laughs> as we're seeing. This traffic seems to have reduced their shot number of shots coming my way. Yeah, so. It did seem to work quite well for him. I don't see any hunters in that in that glance backwards. But he does now have a wanted level, so the other, so there's another gang got involved. Um, we'll have to see whether how much that uh, how much that hurts this point. Oh, chances. there we go. Ooh. <laughs> that was a that was an almost perfect end or braking manoeuvre. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that was some impressive evasion. I'm, uh, I did hear a little bit of shooting there, but it looks like he's, um, well, I don't know. He, that that red red 9F is going to need a moment or two to turn around again. I don't know where the other hunter is at this point. But yeah, that was um, that was very well executed. I'm impressed. Uh, through the old movie studios. Damn it. <laughs> Spin. Right, so now the hunters are a bit further away. They're sort of at a, what I'd probably consider a, a medium distance. So now the best tactic is to do what what Tristan's doing at the moment, is to try and put some distance down and cover a, get a decent chunk away across the city, um, and sort of at the, and just try and try and get get yourself away from them, and then you can start doing sort of big laps or big moves across the city. Just trying, just in general, trying to stay a, a couple of steps ahead of them, and trying to confuse the um, trying to confuse the controller. So yeah, I'd say that's going. Yeah, it's going pretty well at the moment for him. Um, although that said, I, I, I say that there could, there could be a hunter sort of 100 meters behind him that I haven't, that I'm, I'm not aware of. So, but it seems to be going quite well. <laughs> yeah, and always take the jumps off the highway. Oh, that was a big jump. <laughs> um, that's a good change. He's gone from highway to um, to storm drains. As I was saying earlier, that's. Uh, about as big a change as you can pull off in a, in a, in a single move, so it's going to definitely throw the hunters off a bit. Um, assuming they didn't see him do that, they'll have no idea exactly where he's gone. So catching up with him is going to be tricky. Let's be a way out somewhere. There we go. Ah, no more police. That's good. Yeah, he's lost his wanted level. It's, as he says, good. He's lost most of the front of his car as well. That's, <laughs> that's possibly less good. And then, yeah. So f when you when you're fleeing, there's those different distances. If there's, if they're a little bit further back from you, then you want to sort of try and do that do the jumps between the different types of terrain so that you uh, 
so you can confuse them and throw them off. And yeah, heading down here, this worked brilliantly for me in one of the very early episodes, um, before we really thought about um, railway lines as being good, a good way to go. Because I remember Mike was telling Paul that he's, he's gone straight on, he's gone straight on, and Paul was going, but there's no road, Where, where's he gone? Um, well, of course, I've got taken the, taken the railway lines. Now, this has taken him down into the docks, which is... It's a tricky area. This this comes down to map knowledge again, because it's a bit of a dead end. Now, if you know where you're going and you know you've ended up there, you can you can turn left where he turned right and uh, head back out into, into some oh, Eastern Santos. No. But, yep, he's just realised this is a... Uh, not a good way not to go. Not where I want to be. Not a good way to go. <laughs> this is where I went in the trucking um, episode. And it didn't go... It, went okay. I did manage to escape along the railway lines after that. Um, yeah, there isn't really anywhere good to go down here. <laughs> and of course, this is going to be... Oh, come on. He's off He's off the road, so he's going to be tricky to find, but he's also moving very slowly and... Um... No! That's... <laughs> going for a swim, yeah. Um, that was... <laughs> How do you swim up? Clumsy. Yeah, I have trouble with this as well. The the controls don't seem to. Um, I don't. I, I don't know what the swimming controls are basically, and I always have trouble getting my guide to do what I want him to. So yeah, this is. Whilst he's in an odd place, and it'll be difficult for the hunters to spot him there, they are going to be able to drive over and get into more or less the right place, um, just by by driving at high speed and catching and essentially catching up. So. This is going to be a tricky one to get out of. I hear a train. I've always wanted to try and get on a train in one of these runs, but I've not managed it yet. I hate oh, here's a, here's a, oh, there's that hunter in the red uh, red 9F again. Is he going to be able to get away with this shooting? Cause luckily he's, du he's ducked because he's hot wiring the car, so the bullets are missing. That's fantastic. Oh yeah, and use the Jeep to push the, uh, the R8 out of the way. And... Wow! I'm... I'm impressed. That that was a good escape. <laughs> I'm amazed I'm alive. <laughs> Me too. That was a very good escape. Uh, I wonder how long it'll stay ahead for. Because now the, the Jeep is reasonably resilient. It, it'll matter less if he loses a tyre than if he's in a sports car. But he's going to struggle to stay ahead of, um, of, that, of that hunter. Um, oh, this is an interesting tactic. Hopefully this goes somewhere. I suspect it won't. <laughs> no. Uh, there's all these little, yeah, these little dead ends. I mean, I. Oh, there's another, another. Uh, was, that, was that another 9F? I think it might be. I can't quite tell from here. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> that was a good run, though. So let's see what it looks like from the hunter's point of view. Okay, he started moving. Yeah, uh, I don't actually have a vehicle right now, and I'm with Silmax. You could go shot, ride shotgun, or ride pistol, actually, I suppose. First things first, put distance between me and that. At least until you find something worth getting out of. Actually, that might be a good idea if that's where you met. Um, my connection's laggy, so I'd have to go in the passenger seat. Okay, he's okay. far enough away that you can set off without feeling guilty. You okay. could use on those 9S with a missing tyre and just to get you out of the car park. And that should be enough. That's right, we have a plan. The brakes aren't great on this Ooh. car. Old. Okay, do this the traditional right, left, right, left, you're marching out of the car park. <coughs> is that, is that nice? Left, and then right at the end, and then left, and then next right, and then all of the go. Anyways, I'm also looking for a vehicle so that I can uh, separate out. Okay, no problem. I'll, if, you, if, you, if you stop and say, hey, how about that one, I'll... Um, I'll understand. Okay, thank you. That's very good of you. Oh, yeah, I like to think so. I, I want to be a sort of a benevolent controller. <laughs> yeah, that's not my <laughs> definitely not my style. Okay, he's on the railway lines going up into the train yard. No, not that one. Uh, not that one. No. Not that one. Okay, he's gone in the storm drain. So. Keep to stay low as you come as you come along here. So give me two seconds. Okay. Ah, that's all gone badly. 
Thank you, Matt. No worries. Who? Carry on heading the way you were going originally. This has ended hilariously. The car I tried to carjack just drove off. <laughs> I'm like, stuck in the middle of the road. I don't know where I am or what I'm I've got doing. weird light going on. Like I things are just falling and deep falling all around me. Yes, that's the okay, that's sorry, right I'm, I'm on the road. Yep, yeah, stay low. That was weird like. That's my out. Stay low. Alright. And that should allow you to go straight as you come out of here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, I caught up with a car that I wanted to steal and I've now stolen it. Let's, let's let's say keep going there because I think he's just trying to come out of the um, storm drain on the other side. Okay, yep, uh, Mike, keep going that way. Um, Matt, take uh, at the end of the road, turn I'll right. Look out where I am. Oop, wrong way. Okay, Mike. Uh, Mike, since you spun, go back that way and turn left at that uh, that crossroads. Left based on my current heading. Uh, yes. Okay. Matt, take the next left. Yep. Okay. Good. Both keep going for a bit. Um, Mike, then take. Well, you're coming to a, a railway line in the middle of the road. Turn left at that one. So it's the next left now. He's heading directly towards you. Oh, you've overshot. No, go back. <laughs> Um, okay, he's turned off anyway, so take the next right and then turn left. Uh, Matt, is it shooting out of vehicles, sorry, or uh, yes. out of vehicles? Shoot. Shooting uh, from vehicles. Shooting from vehicles. Okay. Mike, turn left. Okay. Matt, turn right there. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, yeah, t take the next right, I'll, that's fine. I'll take the next one, yeah. Mike, right, then left. There and we go. Sort of the, the keep keep rightish and then turn left to get onto the highway. Onto the highway. Yes, boss. Some way on the highway. And take <coughs> the high. To take the sort of the highway that goes to the right, if that makes sense. If you can tell which yep. way that is. Yeah, it is the right, right part of that split. Okay, Matt, keep going that way. That's good. I have improved the ventilation to my engine. As long as that doesn't happen. Hey. <laughs> okay, stay on the highway. Keep going. Keep going. And I've also sustained weight loss. Um. Matt, take the next right. Sorry, that was a rather late instruction. <coughs> That's okay. And I got the spun left. around, and then but luckily. Left. Mike, t take it, follow it, follow the highway to the to around to the right. That's, I think that's correct from what I can see. Yep. Yes, it's good. That was smooth. Um, Matt, t take the next right. Matt, take the next right, and then the next left, and he's coming uh, towards you on that road. Um, Mike, you're coming up to an exit from the, from the highway. Take it. Sorry. Oh, no, take the exit yeah, on, your, on your right that you're coming to, or if you can jump off there, that's fine too. Vehicling to a less broken car. Okay. Uh, Matt, you're on top of him. He's just gone past you. Sorry. I was just, yeah. Yep. You've, you've seen him. Me. Good. Um, Temporarily. Yes, that's him. F f f follow, <laughs> follow him and kill him. You, you, you know what you know. Highway. You know uh, and he's turned left. Um, Mike, turn right. Off the highway. Off the off the exit ramp. Yeah, that's that's good. Mm -hmm. Go that way. Yep. This is. Oh, he's, he's turned right there. You're well, you're well aware, but I'm going to probably should say it anyway. Um, yep. Mike, keep going. That's good. Mike, take your next right. He just went down onto the. Come on, to over. Onto the highway. Mike, try and get onto the highway to your left. Apparently, they've gone down there. They're just, they're just sort of just down there and shenaniganing around at the bottom. Yep, yeah, they're uh, they're both ahead of you now, Mike. Which side of the highway? The other side, heading against traffic. The first one, the first person doing that is Matt. Do not shoot him. The second one is Tristan. Do shoot him. Matt, which car are you in? Uh, red. Stopped. Oh. And we can shoot from vehicles. Yes. Yeah, okay. 
Right, he's, he's moving again. He's going through the tunnel towards the uh, oh, towards the beach. Oh, you! Oh, oh, oh there's a massive pile of cars here. I think he must be doing the thing of shooting out of the cars to try and create a traffic jam. Makes sense. At least the traffic seems to have reduced their shot number of shots coming my way. He's stopped and only started moving again. He's still on the left side of the uh, of the freeway. There are police here. He's probably had an accident with some police. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Matt, you're catching up with him. Oh, oh yeah. You're almost on top of him. You've just passed. Oh, him. he did a Yui. <laughs> Mike, you're approaching him, he, or he's approaching you rather now, actually, from behind, um, fairly quickly. Oh, he's, he's gone onto the he's gone onto the other side of the carriageway. I think he's going to try and exit. Yes, he's going up going up the ramp to leave the highway. Shooting next to a police officer. Bad idea. <laughs> um. Mike, if you want, oh no, you're going, if you want to turn around and take the middle of the three roads when it splits, that will get you up to where they're going. Or you can, or you can just follow directly. Oh, sorry, uh, Matt, turn left then right. Oh, piss off, copper. Mike, at the end of that road, you turn right and then left. I'm going to try and sort of pincer him. Okay. Okay, Matt, just keep following that road straight. He's, he's going up that way. Um, just after you go straight across the crossroad, you'll, you'll need to turn right immediately after. Ah, yeah, I see. Mike, keep going. You're about to go under the freeway. After you've... Okay, no, you're not. You've stopped. <laughs> there were a couple of cars in the way. Yeah. One of them had flashy sirens. Gross. Uh, sorry, Matt, turn right. Um, Mike, <coughs> take the next left. Crossing over the freeway, heading down into into um, East Los Santos. Um, Mike, take the next right. Matt, at the end of the road, turn right and then left. He's in the storm drain again. Oh, suddenly NPCs. Matt, turn, storm drain, Matt, turn storm left. Drain. Uh, or just see if you can get to the storm drain down that way if you can. Um, Mike, oh. you're, yeah, go that way. Yep, vehicle check. Okay. My car had had a lot of problems from various police cars and others, in fairness. <laughs> um, actually, Matt, Mike, turn right down there. Sorry, that was a very late direction. I apologise. Unless That's you right. to be finding yourself going into the storm drain. Oh no, he's, he's got to come back out of the storm drain. He's basically doing a loop, uh, the same loop he did before. So I'm on the highway. You are. Um, uh, what should I do with you? I can get off the highway right here. Um, no, stay on the highway and follow it round. Take, come, 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 take, follow the highway that goes left at that, that point. Um, Matt, I see, are you in the storm drain? Yep. Yes, you are. Okay. Follow it. Uh, okay, you're going to run out of storm drain quite soon, so get, you better get out a bit before you end up in the river. He's gone on to um, the port of Los Santos, down into where I got nearly got stuck with the trucks. Um, oh, he's all the way down there. Well, I'm miles away. Yeah, okay, he's getting on. He's. He's not on the highway because he's stuck down there. Okay, he's going to be stuck in the dead end. Um, Matt, can you get over a bit to your left? Get onto the big road there. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Okay, he is definitely in. He's heading right into the dead end. So, uh, Matt, if you just follow, take the next right, and that'll take you across onto the island. Um, he's going to be a bit trapped because there isn't really any good way out of it apart from on the railway line. So, um, yeah, be be ready to do something cunning along there. Uh, Mike, can just keep going. You're, you're, you're getting, you're in, the, you're in the right sort of general area. You're getting closer still. Okay, he's he's off road. Um, no. he's, he's going to be. So, so Matt, as you come on round the net, get to the next sort of T junction. If you follow it round to the right, he's going to be off in amongst the buildings to your left. <coughs> so keep an eye out for him and don't go too quickly. Um, if you can get one road further over to your left, that'd be great. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's not moving very much. If it wasn't, if, if it wasn't not disallowed, I'd think he was trying to get a boat. Okay, Matt, a bit further along that way for you. You're you're heading west for reference. So if I t tell you to, if I use that sort of direction, then that's what it means. Um, he is, yeah, okay. He's if you slow down now, he's round that building di di directly to your left. Uh, Mike, if you can get off that bridge anywhere, that'd be great. Um, if not, okay. turn, take, take the next right turn. Okay, he's just coming. He's coming right at you, Matt. Oh, yeah. 
Mike, if you can do a, as you come down there, if you can do a really hard left turn, that'd be great. And just follow, and then follow that road up and round to the left, and you'll you should find the two of them tussling. Okay, they've started moving again. They're moving directly towards you, Mike. Um, they're yeah, right ahead of you. They're going up to the to, to, yeah, that way, the way you're you're obviously heading. Okay, you can see them. Yep. He's fleeing across the bridge now, as you're probably well aware. Mm -hmm. At this point, all I can do is sort of wave my pom poms in the air and shout rah rah rah. Uh, he's somewhere. gone straight on. Yep. Um, no. There's, I don't know. It's a grey line on the map. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, you're on top of him. Right. Yes. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have won this battle. battle. <laughs> yeah. Hello. You, Hello. Well, you cocked, I blocked. <laughs> I may have messed up slightly. Going down into the port, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I didn't I, know I did where I was going. I did that sort of truck run because I didn't realise how, how much of a dead end it was. 